All right, here's the square of a binomial, whether it's the difference or the sum, doesn't really matter. The product of the sum and difference of two terms there at the bottom. Now just keep in mind if you see something like this, right? It doesn't mean we're just squaring the A and the B. We have to, we're taking those quantities and multiplying them together, right? Like this one, this is A plus B, that's the quantity, but it, we're squaring it. So in other words, we're multiplying it by itself. And if you multiply these two out, just like we did those last few, well, and simplified it, you'd get this. So these are more like rules, right? Kind of like the exponents. You didn't have to memorize the rules if you understood what the basis is of what was happening. Same, with, same thing with these ones. If you can't memorize these, because I don't actually always memorize them, that's okay, all right? It may be a little extra work, but I mean, that's never hurt anyone. So would that be considered that bad? Can you go back for just a second? Oh yeah. So here's this problem. This is great because I mean, we look at the parentheses and the other set of parentheses, and sometimes that can be a little confusing. But we're even if it told us to use the rules on this one. I mean, you don't really have to. Here's what I would suggest is, remember how we said to get rid of those parentheses before? See how we can combine some like terms now inside that square brackets? So I'm gonna combine, not the X and Y, because it doesn't have any like terms, but four minus six, well, that's minus two. And we're gonna square this. Now we could, right, we could multiply these out and take xy minus 2 and multiply it by xy minus 2. Um, but that would be a little redundant because we've already done some of those types of problems. So I'm going to use the rule on this one. And the rule, right, it was uh, a squared. For this one, it would be minus. So we got minus between these two. So minus uh, 2ab, I should put that and plus b squared. So the question is, what is a and what's b? Well, on this one, a is the xy. So I can replace my a's with xy. Oh, what the heck? There we go. So my a is xy, and I'm squaring that. And this a also would be xy. I need a smaller font for that xy. And what is my b? B in this one is 2, not negative 2, right? So I've got to replace all my Bs with that negative 2, uh, 2 rather, sorry. So I got a 2 here and here. And this would give me x squared, y squared. And this would be minus 2 times 2 is 4. And I still have the xy. And then I would add this to 2 squared, which is 4. So this is the word, just, just if we use the equation stuff. Uh, but on the other hand, if we had xy minus 2 and multiplied that by xy minus 2, right, would distribute xy to the other xy, that's x squared, y squared. And then I've got xy times negative 2. That's a negative 2xy. I am skipping some steps here. Um, okay. And then on this other one, I've still got a negative 2xy. And then finally, negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. And all we see on this one is when we combine these two middle terms, we just get that negative 4xy. Yeah, and that's okay.